My name is Seth, and I live in Chicago, and I need help with my front side of the knees. What I need help with is landing my back foot on. I can land my front foot on. I just can't get my back foot to stay on. Like, I always land like this. So, yeah. Here are my Dude, you have the sickest grip tape I've ever seen. Like, ever. Just so sick. So, just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. My, now my front side 180 attempts. Cool. It's definitely very windy in Chicago. <laughs> That's for sure. That front side 180 was definitely very close. I bet if it was less windy, you would have. All right. So this is my foot placement. I do this with my front foot. I keep it off the edge, and I keep my back foot off. So when I do this, I could scoop it a little. So I could try to keep it on, but it doesn't work. Now I keep it like this so I can keep my front foot on the whole time. So when I'm like in the middle of the air, I can edge it out like that. So it can land like that. If you can help me with this, thanks. Bye! <laughs> sick. I almost didn't hear anything you said just because your grip tape was so sick. Um, hmm, hmm. Those are all good. It seems like you're trying to add a bunch of complexity into something that should be a lot more simple. Like... You should just be able to do an ollie and then turn front side. And you kind of have this whole like series of systems worked out of where your front foot needs to be in order to like scoop it a certain way and it's not working out for you. So sometimes when you practice something a lot, it's really hard to like unlearn. As Yoda said in Star Wars, you must unlearn what you have learned. That kind of sounded like a dying grandma. I'm not really like Yoda, but that's a, I'll work on that. Um, anyways, it's an ollie. Then, simultaneous to the ollie, you're turning your head and shoulders. And then your legs will follow. That is the key. I just say that over and over and over and over and over and over and over. You pop up, turn your head and shoulders, then your legs will follow. But you have to pop it up into an ollie. And if you pop it up into an ollie, the board is underneath you. You already got the ollie, you know how to do it, and the board will be underneath you, and your back foot won't come off at all. So keep that in mind. A lot of times when people go into learning the 180, they think of it like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to say it, like a front side shove it and a body varial. Do you see what that would be like? It'd be like kicking your board so your board does a shove it, and you can kind of leave your front foot on, and that's kind of what you're doing but it flies off your back foot, and it's just out of control. If you did land like a quote-unquote front side shove it body burial, that yes, that would be a 180, but it's just not proper. It's not correct. It's not an ollie, then a 180. Like a real good 180, it's very simple. It's actually very easy. It's just an ollie while you turn your head and shoulders. That's why the front side 180 is the next step after the ollie in the Skateboarding Made Simple series if it had anything to do with the front side shove it, it would be after the front side shove it, but it's not. It's just an ollie while you're turning your head and shoulders, and then your legs follow. I mean, it all happens really fast, and it seems like it all takes place at once, but it doesn't. Notice on every one of those, ollie. Now ready? Ollie. Now ready? Ollie. So I'm ollied up into the air, and then I'm turning. So that's one point. The other point is just a point of commitment. Um, make sure you don't get too comfortable with that back foot coming off or you'll automatically take your back foot off every time in, in a kind of like, oh, I'm freaked out, like I need to take my back foot off. But you don't need to take your back foot off. 100% commitment, that's what it takes. Cool, so you guys should definitely get Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on iTunes as an iBook. It's also available on BrailleSkateboarding.com as a digital download. So check it out now. You will not be disappointed. You guys will love it. Personally, I think it's best as an iBook because it's on your iPhone. All the chapters are broken up. It's really good. Thanks for your support. You guys are the best.